I, Doug Ford. For the past five years, Ontario Premier Doug Ford has kept them under lock and key. His 2018 mandate letters, a set of instructions to his cabinet ministers on what the Premier expected them to do and how he expected them to behave. Ford was taking over from a Liberal government after 15 years in power. And as Premier, he was determined to turn the page on everything, from government spending to ethics and accountability. His cabinet ministers were given strict marching orders on how much they could spend. I trust that your ministry will adhere to the program spending guidelines that have been established, the Premier said. We will return the province to budget balance as quickly as possible. The Premier then laid out his ethical expectations. We must show Ontarians why they can believe in government again and why they can trust their publicly elected officials, the Premier said. I also expect you to hold yourself to the highest ethical standard, both on and off the job. The Premier also said that he would personally be holding his ministers accountable for their actions. The Premier's words in 2018 do not seem to align with his actions in 2023. Amid the Greenbelt scandal, his cabinet minister was found to have violated ethics by not properly supervising his staff who were meeting with developers to remove their lands from the Greenbelt. When asked about accountability, the Premier said, Well, I have confidence in, in our ministers. There's one, one thing, folks, that I don't believe in, micromanaging. Ford did not ask for anyone's resignation and Thank chose to let them step down on their own. A government that, you know, said they were going to serve the people, and instead what they're doing is serving up, you know, luxury McMansions on Greenbelt, you know. They're, they're, they're making sweetheart deals with insiders. Uh, they're in the middle of a massive corruption crisis. While the mandate letters remain a secret, Global News has obtained and verified all of the instructions to Ford's cabinet ministers in 2018. A series of stories called Mandated will continue this week. Colin DeMello, Global News, Toronto.